trying to find a spot for the easel to get some more lighting. It really takes up a lot of this space though. There are some people who live in a dream world, and there are some who face reality. And then there are those who turn one into the other. Desiderius Erasmus. Good morning. I am about to head out to class. This week we're painting in an urban area. It's going to look like the most boring place to paint ever, but I want to make something great and vibrant and exciting. So that is going to be the challenge of this week. I think we can do it though. Got my composition started in a very light green wash on it, kind of a dirty yellow. That's my scene. Very hot out. I'm starting to get the right hues in there. I'm not focusing too much on perfecting, just scrubbing in stuff. Want to get that first layer down. I'm thinking it's about time for me to pack up. My palette is a brown puddle muddle and I'm getting sunburnt on my feet. But the rest is okay. I brought this piece in for my teacher to see so I could get a little input on the areas that need the most work and what to leave alone. And he had some good suggestions, so hopefully later I can do some of that. Hello, Pancho! Uh, I have so much stuff to carry in. The first thing I did in class was get some different photos of potential painting ideas. So I would frame it with my viewfinder. I liked some of these, like this one, but I thought it'd be pretty complicated to do all this texture. I liked this scene. I think I wanted to do something more simple this week though. Towards the end, I really liked this area because of the reflections and layered objects, but it just seemed sort of complicated. I really liked this corner. So I did a little sketch. It's not completely accurate, but I could tell right away that I liked the design. Then I just got to work getting the first layer of colors on there. Tomorrow I'll work into here and start building up a little bit of the details. This and that box are the most detailed areas. Here I really just need to get the color correct. I want a lot of the attention to be in that corner. This is how my mood feels right now. I took my teacher's advice and came in here and made this darker, helping to balance and ground that section. You can barely tell on camera, but I started lightening this and just bringing in some blue. I don't want the box to be as solid and single-toned. I was darkening up here a little, kind of around the edges as a vignette. I'm still touching up this area. This, we decided, is pretty much done, but yeah. A little bit every day on that painting is exactly what I need. I'm sneaking some of my other colors into my bag today. Today. I realized this morning as I got out here that this bottom of the panel is not square It's tilted up a little so I'm gonna have to cut that later, but otherwise things are going well. Maybe I should paint him next I had a snack tuna and some crackers, but now I need sunscreen and to keep working If you're gonna paint in the hot sun, plan accordingly. I have a lot of the first layer done, but now I need to start cleaning things up, adding shadows, details.
is drying faster than I can use it, so I think I'm about done. I'll finish up at home, but I'm pretty happy with the values and most of the tones. I really just want to make some more sections opaque and cleaned up and do this, which I can't right now because that door is open, but yeah. Um, one, I'm sunburnt. Nice job, Maria. I did my shoulders, but no sunscreen here. But anyways, I found something super exciting. Golden has a virtual paint mixer. You can put in the palette that you use. Say these are on my palette and I can check how they would mix. Very cool in my opinion. If you're trying to figure out what paints you wanna get, for just a limited set of colors to bring plein air painting or in the studio. This seems super valuable. If you wanna see my painting from the same location last year, I was way more concerned with the details in some of these little areas. This time, things like lighting and composition are way more important to me and it shows. But we still have to finish that up tomorrow. So I lied. I'm working on it right now. It's a good time to do some of the more meticulous parts anyways. I just struggle to do this when I'm outside, but I still really like it. Like the little highlight on these sections of the wall. I think like most people, I procrastinate. And there are times when I'm just sitting around saying, oh, I'm too tired to paint. And I genuinely feel that way. But the second I start working, it's gone. All I can think is, why wasn't I already painting? I don't know if I'm ever gonna figure that out, that balance. I genuinely just feel better when I'm doing this. And it's so satisfying when something works. At least I think it's working. the building is a little uneven but I'm done messing with it at this point. I think it's just gonna be what it is. Chicho! How'd you know I was here? Chicho! Hi. I think she's done. Look at those colors. I'm pretty sure my favorite part is the cardboard and that transition between the two spaces. What was your favorite part? I love all of it. I like how it has only two flowers. I think I want more art books. One of them is going to have to be Soroya. Like, this is just stunning and he would be great inspiration for plein air work. I just, I like the colors. Because this piece is done, I need to make a new one today. So I have this little six by six panel and I think I'm gonna do this spot. I like the cross shadow, the little details here and it's not too large to maybe finish in one sitting. I made a friend. Lemonade and blackberries blended. And a sip for you. That was so dorky. This is for a family of one. Me. I'm watching YouTube and unwinding from a week of painting and I just weeded my garden. I deserve a break. I also, I'm not sure what else to do, so. We stop and we're like, okay. Let's take a breather. I'm doing a little bit of writing and ideating for things and I noticed this beautiful spot of light with the yellow reflecting onto that painting and guitar. I think plein air painting makes me way more observant in general. It's really easy to feel uninspired if you are not in the habit of observing things and finding beauty around you. So the fact that that class always puts me in the right mindset to find color and light just around me in my daily life is super helpful. So here's the second piece. I really liked the spray paint marks on the ground and had fun figuring out how to render those pipes on the building and this little thing. It was fun. All things considered, these are a great snapshot of the place that I was at and proves that you can definitely make something wonderful, even 
emotional from a place like the back of a strip mall. Because it's such a plain and simple space, great way to start landscape painting and notice things in a way without getting overwhelmed. Highly recommend it. If you're worried about seeming weird painting in a parking lot or behind a building, I promise you no one has ever had a negative comment. Most of the time people are so excited or they just don't care. Good way to push yourself and honestly the results are pretty satisfying. Say goodbye Pancho. <laughs>